नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस चैनल फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर नॉट फैमिलियर विथ बीबीए एप्लीकेशन और कोडिंग देर इज नो नीड टू बी वरी अबाउट इट बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न टू मेक अ सिंपल यूजर फॉर्म विदाउट एनी कोडिंग वी यूज बिल्ट इन डेटा एंट्री फॉर्म like this this is our data entry form when you have a huge data it requires a repeated horizontal scrolling it consume time to source the data to avoid this problem we can use this data entry form we can add our data we even edit our data find out that data and delete our data excel has many useful features when it comes to data entry and one such feature is this data entry form it provides a convenient means to enter or display our complete row of information in a table without scrolling horizontally creating a bb application need to learn code and it even consume times in designing so using this built in feature helps to save our time and we don't even need to learn the code but it has certain limitation it has only the field of text boxes here you can see only text boxes there is no combo boxes no radio button or no check box the maximum number of input boxes that can use in this data entry is 32 it means if you have more than 32 column this one is the column or header if there are more than 32 columns then it will only pick the 32 columns and rest will be discarded and one more thing is the form does not have inbuilt validation we can't apply validation to the text boxes this is the general information about built in data form now let's learn to create the form i add this new sheet first create the column heading this yes, i'll keep the student id student id name class date of birth address and fee this is our heading yes now adjust this now it looks good give up border now i'll say all border um and even text alignment give color to the heading done now to create a form first we have to add our form in a quick access toolbar this is the quick access toolbar to add this form in this quick access toolbar click on this file go to the option button and here click this quick access toolbar here select command not in the ribbon and search the form here you can see this form click on this form click on this add i have already added uh, the form in the quick access toolbar that's why it's showing the warning message uh, i'll click on this okay now when you select this form and add it uh, or add it a uh, click on this add button then click on this okay your form will be shown in this quick access toolbar uh, now uh, stay on uh, a cell you can stay here now when you click on this form your form will be displayed here now you can type uh, the student id student id 101 name nobin singh nobin singh class 10 date of birth 
and address kapil vastu kapil vastu and fee is 10000 yes when you click on this new your data will be added on your excel sheet now i'll quickly add few more data I have added this data. Now, if you want to source any data from the Excel file, now you can go to this. Uh, click on this criteria here. Criteria. If you give now uh, the ID 101 and uh, click on this find preview, you can get you can get the information uh, of a student having a student ID 101. Uh, if you add the another criteria and uh, delete this student ID. and if you want to source the student from kapil vastu then uh, you have to give her address kapil vastu all the student having address kapil vastu will be generated click on this yeah, find peer view you can get the student having id 101 is address kapil vastu uh, next and 104 address kapil vastu this how you can sort your data from the excel sheet using this simple built in excel uh, built in form now i will close this form and uh, the width of this or length of this text box is automatically adjusted based on the maximum column width here you can see the column width is this one if i increase the width of a column i like to increase this width now you can see your text box width has been increased or length has text box this length has been increased and uh, the text box height is same as that of cell it is normal yes you can increase this uh, text box uh, width or length by increasing the cell width or length yes even you can delete your data from the uh, user form click on this user form now it's 101 if you click on this next it will show 102 103 104 so if you want to delete this data then you can click on this delete button and click on this okay your data will be deleted this is the short and quick information about built in form i hope you enjoy this video see you in the next video till then bye bye take care thank you